Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually gonna be talking about the smooth feature and how it is useful for your form bodies in Fusion 360. So as we go to Fusion, you're gonna see that I have this nice kind of weird random shape here. This is something I've been just playing around with, making random different shapes to see how this smooth feature really affects them. So we have a nice crease feature right here. We have a couple of creases here and there as well as just this raised area and a nice valley or a canyon that's been kind of pushed through. So we're going to go to the modify and down halfway we have the smooth feature. We'll click on the smooth feature and now we have the opportunity to select the faces as the first thing that we need to do for this feature. The selecting, just as a reminder, you have multiple options. The three main ones, you have your window select. You also have your freeform select, which you can draw some random shape. And last, you have the paint select. In this case, I like the paint select just because you can click and drag and move all around the different parts you want to capture. So we're actually gonna try capturing all three of these features, the, the little crease, peak, the normal peak, and then this little canyon right there as well. And so we'll capture that and call it good. Get these ones over here too. All right, so once you have the areas you want selected for this feature, you can now add in that the value, the smoothing value manually. You can use this little arrow or you can just use the drag bar. And once you release, you can see the effect it takes on your part. It's honestly not as powerful in terms of like the intensity as I was expecting when I started using this feature. Uh, I would really prefer it if it did like really just drastically smooth these out once you went to the the 1.000 smoothing um, because even at this point you can see that this crease point is not that much smaller this one's gone a little smaller and but this has been smoothed out quite a bit but just to keep in mind that is the results and so that's it finalized I'm gonna go control uh, Z and go back you can see the differences in control Y. So, so there you go. So definitely smoothed out this area. It definitely blended in right here a lot more, um, but it still kept those crease features pretty um, well defined. But that is it. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them in the comment section below. If you like this video, I'd love it if you sent me a like, and I will see you guys next time. So keep modeling. Bye.